Good day, this is Alwyn Villamore and for today, I will discuss the late childhood or the intermediate schooler and adolescence, the high school learner. I will discuss first the late childhood or the intermediate schooler. Late childhood is the time period from the age of 6 until the age of 12 years. It is in the late childhood that the first signs of puberty usually begin to appear. Early puberty. On the average, girls are generally as much as 2 years ahead of boys in terms of physical maturity. Puberty stages start when the brain triggers the production of sex hormones. Okay, so let's talk about the changes during early puberty. For girls, small lumps from behind the nipple may occur, which sometimes could be painful, but eventually, the pain goes away. The vulva starts to increase a bit and the vagina gets longer. The uterus gets bigger and the hairs will start to grow in the armpit and pubic area. Boys may also have swelling on their chest but tend to go away within a year. Subtle increase in testicle size and penis and scrotum starts to grow. Semen may be released when he is awake or even during a sleep. Hair will start to grow and become thicker and new hair will start to grow in the armpit and pubic area around genitals. And lastly, boys may start developing chest and facial hair. Let's proceed to height, weight, and muscle development. Many of the bodily structures like the liver, muscles, skeletons, kidneys, and face follow a normal curve of development for both girls and boys. Girls appear to be more chubby while boys tend to have more lean body mass per inch of height than girls. For motor skills, movements or the muscles and bones become more coordinated. At the age of 10 or 11 years, most children will have learned to play sports like swimming, basketball, volleyball, and running. At the age of 8, children show greater coordination in writing. Let's move to the implication to child care, education, and parenting. During this stage, children are more physically active. However, they still have a lot of physical maturity to undergo. Here are some points to consider for healthcare providers, teachers, and parents. Provide ample opportunities at home and in school for physical exercises and sports. Encourage children to participate in varied worthwhile activities until they are able to discover the ones they are interested in. And lastly, develop a strong emotional attachment with your children so as to address any insecurities and social concerns. Cognitive Development of the Intermediate Schoolers Their ability to use logic and reasoning gives them chances to talk about what they want and how they get it. They now become interested in talking about their future or even their potential careers. They develop special interest in collection, hobbies, and sports. They are even capable of understanding concepts without having direct hands-on experiences. Children in this stage is marked by a wide application of word attack. They are no longer into the fairy tales and magic type of stories but are more interested in longer and more complex reading materials such as fiction books and series books. In choosing books appropriate to their age, consider the following. First, consider who the child is, his or her personality traits, and personal preferences when choosing a book. Next, make a selection with the child in mind, choose an informational book or a novel in an area of a specific interest. And lastly, choose books that encourage discussion and insight building. Let's proceed to socio-emotional development of the intermediate schoolers. Understanding self-competence, self-identity, and self-concept. One of the most widely recognized characteristics of this period of development is the acquisition of feeling of self-competence. During late childhood, children can now describe themselves with internal and psychological characteristics and traits. They most likely employ more social comparison, distinguishing themselves from others. Next is emotional development. The same with other areas of development. Children in this stage show improved emotional understanding, increased understanding that more than one emotion can be experienced in a single experience. Another milestone in this stage is the development of the children's emotional intelligence or EQ. Emotional intelligence has four main areas. 
developing emotional self-awareness, managing emotion or self-control, reading emotion or perspective taking, and handling emotion or resolve problems. Building friendship. The approval and belongingness they receive contributes to the stability and security of their emotional development. Peer size also and less self-aversion by adults is required. At this stage, children prefer to belong to same-sex peer groups. There are five types of peer status. Number one is popular, frequently nominated as the best friend and one who is really disliked by peers. Number two is average, receive an average number of positive and negative nomination from peers. The third one is neglected, very seldom nominated as best friend but is not really disliked. The fourth one is rejected, is infrequently nominated as a best friend but one who is also disliked by peers. And the last one is controversial, who is frequently nominated as a best friend but at the same time is disliked by peers. Popular children have the following skills which peers find very positive and as a result, they become the most favored in the group. The first one is they give reinforcement. The second one is they act naturally. Third is they listen carefully and keep open communication. Next is they are happy and are in control of their negative emotions. And the last one is they show enthusiasm and concern for others. Let's move to the adolescence or the high school learner. When does adolescence begin? Adolescence begins with biological changes of puberty and ends with the rule and work of adult life. There are three stages of adolescence. These are the early adolescence, middle adolescence, and late adolescence. Early adolescence occurs between ages 10 to 14. During this developmental period, adolescents experience the beginning stages of puberty. Let's talk about the physical growth and development of early adolescence. Body changes during early adolescence may include developing hair under the arms and in the pubic area, testicular enlargement in males, and breast development in females. Changes usually start happening earlier for females than for males. Females may start developing a year or two ahead of boys in most cases. Changes can start as early as age 8 in females and 9 for males but can become more noticeable at the onset of adolescence. Mental and emotional development of early adolescence. Preteens and teens begin to assert more independence as they move through the stages of adolescence. This means they may reveal, especially when parents reinforce rules and set limits. Children of this group often have an increased need for privacy, another sign of wanting more independence and less supervision. They may also require more privacy to deal with curiosity and anxiety that come with body changes and new feelings. In this phase, children may notice or start to question their gender identity. This is something that may continue throughout or even beyond the stages of adolescence. At this point, kids start feeling like they are always being judged by people, especially their peers. Children have a very black and white thought process. Something is either right or wrong, with no room for other interpretation. They see things as either amazing or awful, rarely just say okay. Let's talk about middle adolescence which is ages 14 to 17. Changes from puberty are still happening in teens during middle adolescence. Physical changes in females may have slowed down or finished but by this age, most will start having regular menstrual periods. Most males will have started their pubescent growths part. Males' voices begin to lower and there may be a period where the voice cracks. Acne develops in both males and females. Next is the mental and emotional development of middle adolescents. As the brain continues to develop, thought processes mature during this time. However, they still do not process things like adults yet. Teens at this stage may be able to start thinking in the abstract and start seeing the bigger picture rather than the specifics of one situation. They can use logic but are still primarily driven by emotion. Teens at this stage start feeling interested in romantic and sexual relationships. 
exploration of their sense of identity as well as beliefs and values in common. Some teens want to fit in their peers while others want to assert their individuality. And lastly, the late adolescents ages 18 to 21. During late adolescence, physical development has been completed for most young people. Most people have grown to their full adult heights. Mental and emotional development of late adolescence. The brain is completing its development during late adolescence. However, the frontal lobe will not fully develop until around age 25. That is why some people consider late adolescence to be ages 18 to 24. Young people in this stage range usually have better impulse control and decision-making skills than in middle adolescence. Risks and rewards are more accurately evaluated. There is a stronger sense of identity in older adolescents. Values and beliefs are often solidified during this stage. Independence increases as many young adults separate from their parents to live outside their childhood homes. Late adolescents establish relationship with parents, siblings, and other family members may change in nature now that adulthood has nearly been reached.